Got some good subjects here. What if? Ultimate Combo. What if there will be no PlayStation 6 in the future? Who knows? And PlayStation 5 is the last console from Sony because there is speculation that it might be the last console from Sony because they'll be moving on to online gaming. Now the funny thing about when people say online gaming, well, online gaming you have to have a device, okay? If you're playing online with the P PC, you have to have a PC, right? You have to have a device to use, right? If you're playing online games on a console, you have to have the device to play it, right? Because we know how some other things went where you just hook up a controller to the TV and you know, that those don't really pan out that great. So that being said, seven years from now, we're probably going to have a PlayStation 6, okay? Now, what I wanted to talk about is a, a subject that one of my subscribers told me probably about five months ago. What if the PlayStation 6 was made to have sw swappable okay, CPUs? You know, because let's face it, consoles today are are basically PCs. They're just like a PC. It's just a smaller downgraded version. OK, but what if they made consoles and this is on the Xbox side, too. But why don't they make a console? And it, it, it look real nice. Right. But then when say it's time for a big uh, hardware update. You could just buy the computer and it would just pop right in there. You know what I mean? Somehow. I think that would be very awesome. Um, because then you don't have to call it a PlayStation 7 or a PlayStation 8 or whatever. You just call it the PlayStation. And you can upgrade it later on. Right? That's an idea. But I get the whole, you know, having different consoles... Um, and you could probably make more money making the consoles every seven or so years. So maybe that's why they don't do it. It's a neat little concept, though. I think it's a really cool concept. So I'm sure it's they've had ideas like that around these companies about doing that. And something you know, tells them to don't do that and just bring out a new console. But new consoles, you know, it's a lot of development that goes into it to get all the specs and all this up. So, who knows? Will we see a PlayStation 6? Oh, yeah. We will. We will. In time. Another thing to consider is gaming in the future is going to be um, really crazy. You know, we already have 4K gaming right now, right? And in the... It, seven to ten years from now can you imagine having uh 10k 12k 15k gaming and it's like wow 4k looks woo it looks good already right but even making it 8k it's like gosh you know uh, i don't know if i'm really ready for the future of that because that's gonna that's gonna get crazy but It'll be neat to see because we all love we all love gaming and it'll be exciting to see what's in the future. It always is. So we'll have to see on that subject. But like I said, if they could just make a uh a basically a PlayStation PC and you could swap out the computer or something, you know, uh, every five or six years when they want to upgrade it or something. I don't know. It's just you know, it's just a neat idea. Now the another what if is I've been dreaming of this for many, many years, but it's never happened, and it's probably never going to happen because 
there's too much competition out there, but they got the money to do it, but it could be a hit or miss or a flop. But I would have loved to see Sega re-enter the console hardware wars, uh, bring out a new console, you know, like the Dreamcast 2, like what you're seeing right now. Um, their last console was the Dreamcast. It released uh, 1998 in Japan, and then it came to the States in 99. It was a great system. It was a pretty powerful system for what was going for it, but it only lasted three years, and then that was that, because Sony and Xbox dropped, um, and it killed that system. Plus, Sega had uh, new, new management, so it just went all to hell. But anyways, I would love for them to come back, drop a new Sega console, because I would buy it. Because you got to think that Sega has so many great games. And yes, I know they could remaster or whatever a lot of those games and put them on Xbox and PlayStation 5, and it would be much easier for them. But I would just love a Sega console, you know? Because you need to understand, you know, back in the day in the 90s and stuff when they had all these arcade games, right? And they came out on the console and they didn't, you know, they didn't port well. They weren't like arcade perfect. These consoles today could power any arcade game. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X could basically power any arcade game with whatever graphics they're throwing. It could be powered on a home console now. And, you know, that's what killed arcades um, back in the day when... The hardware was getting a little wild. But I would love to see like Virtual Fighter 2 remastered. That was one of my favorite Sega games. You know, Sega Rally, uh, Daytona USA, you know. Yes, like I said, I know they could bring them on the new systems. But it would be cool if Sega entered the, the hardware again. It would just be cool for them to come back and say, look, we're back, dudes. But, you know, there's a lot of competition out there. Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft, the big three. But it would be nice to have a big four. Because Sega still got lots of money. They're still big, so, you know. Anyways, hopefully in the future, you know, we'll see some more excitement and, and uh, see what all these companies are going to do. But, you know, grain of salt, though, as always, I don't think, you know, Sega will ever bring another console out, but it would be nice if they did. And uh, I don't see consoles um, ending. I think they'll still make them. Even if people say, you know, they're going full-blown online play. Well, these are online play. But you have to have a device to have online play. You can't write on a piece of paper without a pencil or a pen. Anyways, thank you for watching Twisted Gaming TV. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Always comment back. Until next video, peace and happy Easter.